Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Let's talk today about real estate. I love making money from real estate and I wanna show you five ways to make money from real estate today. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus way that most people don't think is actually making money, but it can actually save you a ton of money. And saving money is like putting money in your pocket. So here we go. Number one way that you can make money from real estate is appreciation. This is when the value of the property grows over time. You could purchase a property for a certain price and sell it for a higher price after a few years, thus profiting from the appreciation of the property's value. Now, I wanna say that appreciation is not always guaranteed. As a matter Matter of fact, real estate goes through normal cycles, normal ebbs and flows, going up high and then coming down low. This usually has to deal with all kinds of things, mortgage rates fluctuating, uh, towns and cities growing and expanding or possibly contracting due to industry that was either booming at one time and that pulled out and left it desolate. To me, Detroit comes to mind as an amazing time where the auto industry was exploding, factories were being built, and then over the years, the auto industry went through some problems. They started to shutter factories. They started to pull those people out, which means less workers, which, which means less need for homes. And before you know it, Detroit was the shell of a city that it once was, thus causing appreciation to fall. So it's not just mortgage rates that have to do with rising prices and falling prices. So don't always count appreciation as guaranteed. All right, number two way that you can make money from real estate, and that is cash flow. It refers to the income generated from a renting out a property. The rental income should be greater than the expenses occurred in maintaining the property to ensure a positive cash flow. Now, cash flow is extremely important to consider when you're talking about uh, investing in real estate. Why? Because you need money coming in to be able to get money going out into your investment. And this is vital. It sounds funny, but so many times people jump into the rental game and they deal with super, super tight margins. They buy a piece of property, they either don't put enough money down or the property is just way too overvalued in relation to the amount of rents that are already coming in. And the person cannot that bought the property can't raise rents enough without causing people to either default on their rents or move out. And then what they do is they only bought this because they were trying for appreciation and they weren't focusing on one of the most important elements of real estate investing and that is cash flow. So they end up losing the property. So it's very, very important that you make sure that your cash flow is uh, in direct correlation to its, its in its proper ratios. You don't wanna put too much money down on the property because then the property's not really paying for itself. You did it. But you also wanna make sure that there's enough cash flow coming in to not only pay for all of your maintenance and to be able to set money aside for an emergency, but also to be able to uh, pay all of your bills. All right, now let's talk about the number three way that you can make money off of real estate, and that is through real estate wholesaling. This is the process of finding a distressed property, getting it under contract, and then assigning the contract to another investor for a higher price. The difference between the contract price and the sale price is the profit. Now, I will say that this is something that you really want to have some skill in. You don't want to just dive right in. Now, I've seen people do this and they are very good at it. This is a great way of being able to get a piece of property with little or no money at all and being able to just sell it, to be able to literally convince a seller that needs to sell that you are the person to be able to go and find a buyer and that you get the difference in that contract price. It's a great way to have really little to no risk in the game, but it does take some sales techniques. And really the easiest way to start is just to start. Consume content about it. You could read tons of books about it. But again, this is something that you could really get into with little investment out of your pocket. Just really the silver tongue technique. All right, now let's talk about the number four. The number four way to make real money from real estate is real estate investment trusts or REITs. These are companies that own and operate income generating real estate properties. You can invest in REITs and earn returns in the form of dividends and capital gains. And honestly, there's REITs that are publicly traded. I quite frankly am not a big fan of these and the reason why is because you only get a little bit of money. You only get a small exposure to the broader real estate market and you miss out on so many uh, valuable uh, ways of making money like what I'm gonna be talking about soon in that bonus round. So I tend to stay away from that, but for people that want low risk and they just want some kind of exposure to the real estate market, real estate investment trusts 
could be a way to go. Now let's talk about number five. Number five way to make money from real estate, and that is real estate crowdfunding. This involves pooling funds from multiple investors to finance a real estate project. You can invest in real estate with a smaller amount and own a small portion of a few properties, thus diversifying your investment portfolio. Now, I will say this does take a little bit of skill. As a matter of fact, it takes a lot of skill. Uh, there are real estate crowdfunders out there that you can actually contact and be a part of and invest in their fund. Uh, but to start it out yourself, I would highly suggest a lot of time diving into the books, quite possibly uh, becoming an agent or really getting familiar with real estate contract law because there's a lot of ins and outs. Because not only are you dealing with your money, but you're dealing with other people's money as well. So that is something that takes a lot of finesse, a lot of technical skills, and to be able to make sure that those contracts are rock solid because you would not want something coming back to you legally. Now let's talk about the bonus, the big bonus. And I actually think this is the number one reason to buy real estate. I know it sounds crazy, like, oh, Ninja, you're talking. It's better than appreciation. It's better than cash flow. It actually is. And that is tax savings. Tax savings to me are so vital because every time you spend a dollar, certain amount of that money just gets taken out and goes to Uncle Sam. And it's just like, Where'd it go? And I want that back. And being able to become a real estate investor or possibly a real estate professional and being able to use the tax code to your advantage to stop the government from taking that money and them gladly giving it back to you because it's a legal loophole is the way to go. As a matter of fact, a lot of times in your everyday life, you don't realize it, but if you were a real estate investor, you would have write-offs that are literally that you do every day. And I think that that is absolutely amazing. And once you start to realize that and you file your taxes, you find good tax professionals that understand real estate uh, tax loopholes, legal tax loopholes, then all of a sudden it almost becomes an addiction. You're like, I want another one. I want another one. And you'll be able to start doing things from writing off everyday expenses like your home office uh, deduction and you know, fuel to and from where you're working, certain things like that. But then also you're looking into being able to roll over your uh, capital gains through 1031 exchanges and things like that. It literally changes you. And it really is exciting to see more and more money going from you to the government from you and keeping it in your pockets. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. There's so many different ways to make money in real estate. And quite frankly, that's why I believe that real estate investing is the greatest way to earn wealth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. The Real Estate Ninja is out.